Yay. All right, so I have already done my brows and primed my eyes just in an effort to make this video a little shorter. So we're going to start with, we're going to use this palette, and this is the palette I will be selling on my online store, and that store is called Hummingbird. You can find it at www.hummingbirdboutique.net. And this is one of the six palettes I have ordered. I have ten palettes of each one that is on the store out of six palettes. And so I'm going to be showing you the We Care palette. And this is the inside of it. I have already used this quite a bit, so it looks a little bit beat up because um, I've been loving it so much. I was actually really shocked that out of the products I have been trying, this was my gem. Like, I tried a couple that were okay. When I found this, I was like, this is worth it. People would want this, and you can spend way less than you would on some of the really high-end palettes and still get probably a very similar look. And so this palette, if you are in the beauty community, you may recognize these shades. They are similar to one of the Huda Beauty palettes, and it is not claiming to be Huda Beauty. Another company that saw that those were great colors, people liked those, and they take that inspiration and they go with it. This is not a well-known company at the moment, but they are like a smaller company that reaches out to people who sell products. Um, because I personally can't go sell Too Faced because I would have to work for Too Faced. So I work with other small brands and they work with me and then I can sell their products and give them advertisement. So this is a palette I'm going to be showing you today and I love it. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the palette and I'm going to take this brush right here. This doesn't have a specific name. I just got it. Um, I got it from a collab with a place called Candy for what is it? Candy for Trendy on Instagram. They had me sent it to me and it's a decent collection. It's not my favorite, but they're pretty. So I'm going to go into this shade right here. This is called Copper Rose in the palette. And it's kind of a nice uh, what would you call that? Brownish taupey color. And I'm going to put that in the crease. I'm going very lightly because you'd rather build it up than just suddenly have a ton of pigment on your eyes. I'm just doing nice little motions back and forth, blending it in. And then if I run, start to lose a little bit of product, I'll drag it up just a little bit. Alright, so don't worry that it's messy because we can clean that up. That's part of the process. Now I'm going to take, this is a Lexi brush, uh, wow, my name has almost worn off of it, uh, 249 brush, and I got this in an Ipsy bag not too long ago, it has a nice fluffy end and a more pointed end, and this is probably my favorite brush that I own, I don't own very many high-end brushes, but I will say that of the Lexi brushes that I own, I think they're phenomenal. I'm going to take the more flat end of that brush, and I'm going to go into my palette, and I'm going to go into Bisque, and it is this... I don't know how well you can see it, but it is a very uh, skin-like color. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it just under my brow. I'm being careful to blend it into the other shade we have. We can go back over it and fix it if we need. And then I'm going to take that same bisque color and I'm going to apply it on my lid. Just across the lid, a light shade. Alright, so next I'm going to take this Mary Kay Eye Smudger Brush. And I'm going to take this black shade called Carbon in the corner. And I'm going to apply that on the outer V of my eye. Right now it's just like one side of the V. I'm going to just do kind of like, it's almost like a very loose wing, not a precise wing. So now I'm going to go into my Luxie brush with that fluffy end. And I'm going to just take a light amount of the carbon shade. And I'm going to ever so lightly dust from this end of our slight wing 
into the crease. I don't want it to be profoundly black. I'm just kind of dragging it in and blending. Once you get some in there, you can go begin to go back and forth. You can see how instantly that darkened up the outer area of the eye. Here's without, here's with. Then I'm going to go take that big fluffy brush, earlier fluffy crease brush with the copper rose color and just kind of go back over what we just did with the black to continue to blend it together. Then I'm going to take this ruby brush, it has a nice fluffy end, and I'm going to take this color right here called Wine, and it is kind of a red looking shade, and I'm going to take that and apply it next to the black, so at where the black is not on about from the middle of the lid to the outer black area. I'm going to apply that. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this shade called Indian Red. Kind of like, it reminds me of an Indian paintbrush. That's probably why they named it like that. So it really does look almost the same color of the reddish Indian paintbrush. Flower, I don't know if you guys have Wherever you are, might not have those, but out here, we have a lot of Indian paintbrush flowers. At least by my house. But so I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to brush it next to the other red color we had, the wine color. And I'm going to put it, kind of brushing it slightly into the red color, but not all the way in. There's still about a quarter of my eyelid left to fill in. So I may mix two shimmers now, and I'm going to take, first I'm going to take this shimmer shade. It's a very pink shade. I'm not really sure if you can see it on here. It's kind of like uh, extra bubblegum pink, even though there is a bubblegum shade in here. This is called Garnet, and it is a pink shimmer shade. And I'm going to take my same ruby brush. I'm just wiping it on a cloth below me, a dry cloth. I'm going to take that Garnet shade. I'm going to apply it to what is left of the lid, just lightly in the inner corner. After I have done that, you can either take a more flat brush, like this is a Mary Kay flat brush. This is an all over eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to now go into the shade Moonlight. And it is a very like white, well, it's more of a light pink, whitish shade and it's a very shimmery shade, and I'm going to take and apply that in the corner over that little pink color we just put, over the garnet color. And it is very intense, as you can tell. Well, I hope you can tell on camera. So I'm applying that, and I'm dragging it in a little bit, kind of blending it in with that other shade we put on, the Indian Paintbrush Red. And then I'm going to take that ruby brush one more time and take the Indian Red, and just make sure this is blended together and doesn't have any harsh lines. And then I'm going to go back to the flat eyeshadow brush and just blend one more time along that line. Just kind of taking the ever so little product and blending them together. I'm going to take that same Moonlight shade and I'm going to put it under my brow, just in about the middle area. I'm not taking it clear out to the edge of the brow quite yet and I'm not taking it clear in quite yet. We're going to see how we do that. I'm going to put it here to here. I'm going to go back to my Luxie 249 brush and I'm going to go back into that shade Bisque with the flat end of the brush and I'm going to just drag under my eyebrow in the areas where we didn't use the shimmer shade and continue to lighten that out just with a matte shade opposed to a shimmer shade. 
You can use the shimmer shade if you like. I actually do that quite often. And I kind of just kind of finish up that. Because I have very large hooded eyes and so I have lots of space for eyeshadow. So then you can take and you can just ever so lightly kind of um, blend that browner, more brown color in with that. And do that on both sides. You want to make sure it's nice and blended. And then I'll take my light fluffy crease brush one more time and without any extra product, I'm just going to blend that spot one more time. Now I'm going to take that bisque and I'm going to drag it down my eyelid just a little. Kind of on this outer area that it starts to attach to your nose. That way you don't have that kind of a raccoon appearance with eyeshadow, skin, eyeshadow, skin. We want a little more natural gradient like look. Alright. Hopefully you can tell what this is looking like on camera. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with an Eco Tools brush. This is a little tiny, I don't know if you would call this a pencil brush, but I like to use it on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take that carbon black we used earlier, and I'm going to drag it just to about where we put the black on the upper lash line. And then I'm going to drag it into it. Just kind of drag it up into the shadow so they blend together. And I'm not using very much because this carbon shadow is very, very pigmented. So then next I'm going to go back into that wine shade and I'm going to repeat what we did on the top eyelid on the bottom eyelid. So I'm going to bring wine in, then I'm going to bring an in Indian red and I'm going to mix them together and then I'm going to put those light colors in the corner. So right now I am taking wine red and I'm going to put that in the middle area on both sides. Whoops, that was terracotta, not wine red. And you don't need to worry if you have any fallout fall down here because we'll fix that. So I'm just putting that in. Nice. Pretty color. Mixing it in with the black. Then I'm going to take the Indian red and go in here a little bit. Mix it in. Then I'm wiping my brush off each time with my dry cloth that I keep below kind of helps you be able to use the same brush for multiple powders because I have a lot of brushes but I have nowhere near the amount some people have and I like to be able to use the same brush again and again and if you just wipe off that powder kind of helps. So then I'm going to go in with the garnet pink color over here in this corner and I'm going to put that in and drag it in to the Indian red color. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. When you do this, you can kind of catch a little bit more of the pinky shade on the above lid. It kind of shows a little bit more. And then I'm going to go back over it with Moonlight. Go over that. And then, even though we haven't completed yet, I'm going to apply a little bit in the inner corners. So with the Moonlight shade in the second row, middle, I'm going to put it right on the inner corner as your inner corner highlight, which we can edit a little bit more after we have foundation on because it may need a little more by then. I'm just going to smudge that a little bit into this red so it doesn't have too much of a fine line in between. Let's go get a makeup wipe. So, I just realized I've used all my makeup wipes on my music trip. So instead, we're going to do a similar fix for our, any fallout and making a good line. And I'm going to take my cellar cleansing water, the all-in-one mattifying formula. I tried this on my skin and it actually made me oilier because I am oily. And the mattifying seemed to dry it more, which made me more oily. So now, 
I'm finishing off the bottle just using it on my eyes and I'm using the sensitive skin types one that just has a pink lid for my face at nighttime. But so I'm going to apply some of that onto a Kleenex and then I'm going to take the end of the Kleenex and I'm going to clean up the fallout under my eyes if there is any. There's not a whole lot, but I'm just going to kind of go like this. You want to not get too close to what we just did under our lash line because you don't want to take that away. And then I'm going to drag it up and create a nice line. You can see that. You don't have to make this line incredibly precise if you don't want to. You can leave it a more smoky look. This is just what I'm doing right now. So then you can kind of tap this so it doesn't mess anything up, make it look a little less intense. Alright, so that's the basics of the eyeshadow right now. I'm going to go put my foundation on and apply some mascara. We'll come back, inner corner highlight, and evaluate how it looks. So stay tuned. Alright, so forgive me if my lighting's a little bit different. I tried to get it to the same setting for, but for some reason it doesn't seem to want to go to the exact setting I had it before. But, so this is the finished look with my foundation and everything on. I have on this palette. If you just watched me do my eyes with it, we used the colors Bisque, we used Carbon, we used Copper Rose, we used Wine, uh, Indian Red, and Moonlight, and Garnet. And so you get this very nice look that is much more colorful. And you can make normal looks with this. You can make, um, I've made just like more natural toned looks by using uh, the salmon color, this bisque look. I mixed the copper rose and carbon and then I went in with this brown gold or this salmon. Um, they have, you can still make a very more neutral look with this. You can also make lots of colorful looks. Obviously you're not using greens and browns because this doesn't have greens and browns, but I would say this is a good summer palette with pretty colors. Um, I do have some palettes that are even more summery or even more neutral, much more natural everyday looks. And I will make some more looks for you guys that you can see all kinds of different looks with this palette. But to show you, show you this palette today, I wanted to show you that. And this is the look. And so I'll have to get a little closer so you can see. this look I hope you enjoyed I hope you come back like and subscribe hit the bell so you always get notifications of when my videos have been uploaded help me out I'm a newbie uh, I'll keep coming back and trying to give you my best makeup looks if you are interested in this palette go to www.hummingbirdboutique.net go to the collection that face though sounds funny but I will be working towards having more of a full face not just eyeshadows. Um, I debated changing it to those eyes though, since it's just eyeshadows right now, but I do want to have a full face in there sometime. There's also other Mary Kay makeup. There are t-shirts. There are lots of fun products on there, and I would love for you to go to check it out. Even if you don't buy anything, just check it out. So, this completes my promotional video for this palette, and I hope you enjoyed. Come back and see me again. Bye guys. So if we're looking at the packaging of this, we, it has a metallic little label here. The sides are metallic as well. Then I have beaten mine up. It's like this has nicks in it all over because I've taken it with me on the road. I've taken it everywhere. I've even dropped it. And so it has on the back, it says, Your Favors 18 Eyeshadow Palette, uh, FA40. And then it says it has the 18 Master Favor Shadows. Uh, the palette is an essential eyeshadow collection with 18 shades, including neutral to berry tones. Uh, crease and fade resistant formula stays put for hours. This is easy for on the go application. Just slide it in your bag. 
take it with you. And then what's really cool though is that even though this doesn't have a plastic finish or anything, it makes it less breakable when you drop it. Each shade inside has a name. We have Dubai, we have Ruby, we have Gold Mine, Rose Gold, Salmon, Garnet, Brown Gold, Wine, Pink, Bubblegum, Bisque, Moonlight, Salmon, Indian Red, Terracotta, Toffee, Copper Rose, and Carbon. The metallic shades are phenomenal. The matte shades are great for blending. I love this palette. It is so good. The other plus to it is that this has a magnet in it. So when I try to open this, see it like won't open very easily because there is a magnet placed right here and that keeps it closed from getting stuff inside of it. So that is the palette and I love it. I will swatch a couple things on my wrist for you and see what you guys think. Even when you touch the shimmers, you can like literally feel how great they are. They're like a very creamy consistency, soft on your finger, so awesome. So, if you can see all these, these are all the shimmer shades. I will show you the mattes on my other arm. We have a lot of colors on me. Right now, hopefully you can see. It's so hard to show these. These are all the matte shades on my arm. Okay, that didn't work. Ta-da! Alright, all my lovely people, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you check out my store, my channel, my Instagram, my Snapchat. I will have all of those links below, including the products that I used today off camera. But this is the palette you're going to want. And I only will have 10 of them to begin. I have two different versions of this palette, another similar version of this palette, and then I have three other cool palettes that are not the same, but they're of the same company, same formula, same all the good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this. Have an awesome day. Bye, guys. This looks much less bright. Yeah.